and I'm back on the Beano. And a long time ago, I went to school there. I think it's spring. Oh, it's still a bit chilly. Um, actually, 2nd of March 2013, 06.52. That's looking north. This is looking south. It's Pandy Road up there. I'm trying not to get knocked over. And probably Google, YouTube, same thing, um, will offer me the chance to improve this video uh, because it's bouncing up and down. That's because when I'm walking. Anyway, Bridge End Pub, which I haven't been to since, good grief, uh, 18, 19 years of age. Cheese fibre to the cabinet. Learned yesterday my ASPP is going to be owned by Sky. Right, okay, I'm off to uh, Newport. Various reasons, including a little bit of Tiny Rebel. And this is Newport Road, and that's the way that I'm going. Okay, not quite sure what that is. But I'm going to take a chance on coffee number one, which is owned by Brains. A bit quieter. And over there, there's the station. That's the old station we have in. And this is the job we so, you can get a pint here from 8 o'clock in the morning, and there's a mini wash beer festival on. And this has come down the road, or up the train track from Cardiff, from the Brains Brewery. This is, I think this is one of their craft beers. This is Captain Cat. It's going to do with Dylan Thomas. I'm not very literary, so I'm not really sure. This is 4.2% alcohol by volume. 2.9p. Hmm. So, I start drinking it and it tastes like an ordinary bitter. However, there is a touch, just a touch, of citrus in it. It's B, plus, but it's not bad. Bad at all. And number two, this is Glory. By Yeovil Hills. Um, Yeovil's not in Wales, so it's not part of the Welsh Beer Festival. 3.8% alcohol by volume. Um, Where's Bull's menu? Mm. Creamy. Nicely bitter. Punches above its 3.8%. I think D. So this is number three, and here's the issue I've got. The bar clip is all in Welsh. And now another brewery is the Kite. Mm, Court. Golas. Golas. I don't know. 4% alcohol by volume. And I think I've had this in the pen and wig. And it's rougher. And that is lovely. There's hint more of citrus in that. That's a B plus plus. Almost an A minus. Really good. And they're having a sale. Buy one, buy another one. Come on. Ooh, large size hula hoops. <laughs> a healthy diet. Mensano incorporate sano. And this is a new pub alert. And thank you to our Alpha Daily beer writer extraordinaire. This is E Old Moringa House. Probably Mangle the Moringa, which I think is a tax keeper collector. Anyway, Samuel Smith's should be fun. 
So here I am in the room, Marunga, Marunga, whatever. And it's a Samuel Smith's pub. And this is Old Brewery Bitter and 4% alcohol by volume. No Wi Fi. On the Wi Fi. Slightly creamy. Slightly complex, slightly bitter. B plus. Thank you, Todd Custer. This is Samuel Smith's Dark Mild. 2.8% alcohol by volume. Which is probably the most modest alcohol by volume I've had. Oh, it's nice. What's that in there? That's a thing, is it? No, that's that's a mild. Oh, right. It's um, what's the word I'm looking for? Smoky. It's one? nice. Uh, I mean, the one is on there. No, no, no. That's a stout, I think. Oh, right. Now this is just a mild, but this is really good. I mean, two point eight percent alcohol by volume. This tastes a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. And this will.